It's recording.
Well, let's get this over with. I'm transgender. Some of you may be very confused. Some of you just might want this all to be over. And some of you understand and know already. The definition of transgender is denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and or gender does not correspond with their birth sex. Now you learn about it in more of a person's point of view, as you know, being me. First, it starts with looking at boys and being envious of them because I was born a girl. I may have been given the wrong body, where I'm so uncomfortable that I can't even look at myself in the mirror, where I try so hard for people to see me as a boy all my life, but all they see is a little girl. If I could change what people see me as, I would have them see a scared boy that is under the shell of my skin, desperately trying to pull through so he could come to the surface, clawing at my inside, mind screaming, I'm not a girl! The way you should view it is to not gender someone just from their biological sex, but call them by their pronouns, what they are comfortable with. But if you're just that person that ignores things and continues with this pronoun, I ask you this. What if you were a girl and I called you a boy? How would you feel? If you still ask the same way on this, then you're not worth any of our time. You are just the silent white noise in the space of seven billion. And most of those people I notice because they are kind and do what I feel comfortable with. And I thank you for that. I thank my family for accepting me with open arms. I, ex I thank my friends and teachers for knowing me like a person and not just a speck of dust like others do. Big two. I may be transgender, but I'm damn well proud to say how I feel. Because I want to feel hurt. Hurt in this hard world that we have to deal with from birth. I'm transgender, and this is just one story from millions.
And we're standing side by side As a shadow crosses my
bachelors and a guest who will be me. And my goal is to find love with one of these three mystery bachelors. But I don't know who they are. And they don't know who they are yet either because they are going to be one of these three of these random characters. And at the end, I'm going to have to try and guess it. So, Jalea is going, um, so, alright, first we want to pick a character for Angel, but nobody in the audience can, ha can say anything, because I can't know. Yeah, don't say what's on the card. Go, go, go. Yeah, let's go. 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 Let's
Village, please take your seat. Please take your seat, Brooklyn and Brian Lee.
first it starts with looking at boys and being envious of them because I was born a girl. I may have been giving the wrong body, or I'm so uncomfortable that I can't even look at myself in the mirror, where I try so hard for people to see me as a boy all my life, but they still see a little girl. If I can change what people see me as, I will have them see a scared boy that is under the shell of my skin, desperately trying to pull through so he can come to the surface, clawing at the inside of my mind, screaming, I'm not a girl! The way you should view it is to not gender someone just from their biological sex, but call them by their pronouns, what they're comfortable with. But if you're just that person that ignores these things and continues to mispronoun, I ask you this. What if you were a girl and I called you a boy? How would you feel? If you still act the same way on this, then you're not worth any of our time. You're just a silent white noise in the space of seven million. And most of those people, I notice, because they're kind and do what I feel comfortable with. And I thank you for that. I thank my family for accepting me with open arms. I thank my friends and teachers for knowing me like a person and not a speck of dust like others may do. I'm transgender, but I'm damn well proud to say how I feel, because I want to feel heard, heard in this hard world that we have to deal with from birth. I'm transgender, and this is one story for millions. <laughs>
So the way this works, there are three lovely bachelors who are each of a certain character, and those characters are going to be completely random. They don't even know who they are yet. But the rule is, um, Leandra, as the lovely guest, is going to have to guess who, uh, who they are at the end. So as the audience, you cannot say. Everyone's going to know except Leandra. So let's get started. Who wants to pick a card from Jay? who will choose from three lovely bachelors. Introduce us, Miss. Hello, I'm Rosaline. Rosaline, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. We're gonna talk about these three lovely bachelors. We're gonna introduce themselves. Bachelor number one, I hate kids. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Bachelor number two, Attain, hot! <laughs> Bachelor number three, Evening, sir. <laughs> She will be asking a series of questions and then choose from these lovely bachelors. First question, last one. Okay, um, on our first date, where will you take me? On our first date, where would you take the lovely Miss Rosalind? Alright, so boom, I'll take you to my uh, factory, my clown factory. We'll squeak my noses, we'll touch my big ass toes, and we uh, we'll love everybody. Because I love kids, $2.95 for um, bar mitzvahs. What a jokester. <laughs> Batch number two. Batch <laughs> 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 number three. Well, my boy, I would take the lovely Rosaline to my lair, where we would mix magical potions and enjoy the night. Sound <laughs> sexual. <laughs> Question number two, Miss Rosalind. Okay. Um. What pet would you get for me, and why? What pet would you get for Miss Rosalind, and why? A balloon snake. <laughs> Number two. Blitz ball. Match number three. This is a hard one. Of all the magical creatures back at my lair, I would give her a brim. How exotic. Now you have to choose from these lovely bachelors. Choose wisely. Okay, um, bachelor number one seems very boring, and I don't like boring. Um, bachelor number three seems very ancient, and I want a young, capable man. And bachelor number two... <laughs> Seems very young and tough, and I like tough. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to choose batch number two. That's my number two!
when it's over. I don't wanna think about it. I want you to love me now. I don't know who's gonna kiss you when I'm gone. So I'm gonna love you now. I guess all I have. I know it'll kill me when it's over. I don't wanna think about it. I want you to love me now. Thank you.